In this video, we have yet another security camera from the company called VZUI. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. So it's going to be a solar battery wireless security camera. The model number is VZ3P. T2. I'm going to show you what's inside the box. I'm going to set it up, install it and check the video quality, audio quality and give you my final thought and the review for this security camera. So make sure to punch that subscribe button and let's go. So on the box, we have the 355 degree pan, which is awesome. Almost 360 degree like and we have 90 degree tilt up and down. So you get one of these stickers. So you want to put it in front of your window or whatever. So the thief would know you have a camera. Nobody watches the quick guys. You just want to go in and figure it out yourself. And another booklet actually for the whole thing. People rather watching videos like this, right? So this is the solar panel. Check this out. This is actually looking good. They gave you a long wire pretty much so you can hook it to the camera itself. We have a stand. We have a bunch of more wiring, some screws and the bracket for the camera off as well. Oh. Now I need to use my finger. Got it. This is the camera itself in the front. Apparently we have a sensor and we have a camera at the bottom and there is four uh, spotlights. It's actually going to be super bright if it's like four of them. We're going to check that out. Okay, so it just says there's a built-in battery right, right at this location. So make sure you don't pierce this plastic part. It might explode. So you just turn these antennas. At the bottom, we have a slot for the SD card. There is two other buttons. One is for power and there's another one for the reset there is a speaker at the back so it just goes all the way down and the rotation is 355 so we need to connect the solar panel to this wire so it will charge the battery i need to set this up make sure to like this video and i will see you in a bit okay so i just finished installing the security camera on my porch just need to set up the app connect to the Wi-Fi and we take it from there. The app is called Cloud Edge and we need to add the device battery camera. Press and hold the device power button. Let me just, okay, just a reminder, you need to set up the camera before installing it uh, wherever you want. So what we need to do is actually charge the camera before using it. That's why there's a USB cable to charge the camera. Apparently there's a paid a subscription for the app that uh, instead of sending sending you the picture every time it detects a motion it will send you a the video that captures the event that is happening so you just give me the cloud storage for four dollar per month well i mean i don't want to get that so i'm just going back but the video is loading so it takes a while for the video to load battery is at least uh, 70 percent or something i can see here i think it's a little bit slow for the video stream to load uh maybe that's the first boot and the connection lost we can uh, change the quality between the standard and high quality obviously i want the high quality okay it got a little bit better actually the transmission rate for the wi-fi and the camera uh, jumped almost twice as much just to deliver the higher quality now we have option to a screenshot let me do screenshot and it will save on my phone because there is no sd card on the camera and i can hold to talk hello 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 Hello. I can actually hear myself outside. <laughs> Imagine my neighbors just looking around uh, to see who's talking. And I can record the video. Let me just record this sample right here while we're talking. At the bottom, we have the motion detection. You can you can turn it on and off. You can uh, change the sensitivity if it's like uh, capturing any little movements. You can lower down the sensitivity and vice versa we can do the automatic sensitivity correction we have different options for the power consumption of the camera we have the power saving mode we have the performance mode this mode has a long video recording time which will cause excessive power consumption okay and we have the custom mode let's do the custom what we can change the alert will be triggered only when human motion is detected okay pets vehicles and packages will not be detected but i mean it will detect the person del delivering the package right you can select between if you want to 
during the day or during the night humanoid detection sensitivity but how does it do that is it like ai capturing video and we can set the time for recording uh, 10 seconds 20 seconds and 30 seconds 10 seconds should be more than enough i'm assuming as long as you have a sd card installed on the camera because your phone is not going to be connected all the time uh, i will check that out so in the performance mode the humanoid humanoid sounds like a human android or something why they use that word to describe humans turn on ai so it actually works with ai to recognize different uh, objects animals humanoid recognition is subjected to ai results alert plan we can add the time set the time period of the alarm the device only triggers an alarm event during this time period and we have the humanoid alarm area basically adjust the angle and says where do you want the humans to be detected i'm just going to select the road and save it audio warning and strobe light sound and light and alarm is only valid at night and we have the the control panel here so we can turn the camera left and right okay we have some movement there's a little bit of lag between the camera functions and i can turn on the light and turn it off moving on to the next page we have the siren i'm not gonna do the siren maybe i hope my neighbors don't get mad at me but <laughs> automatically cut to color images when object movement is detected or a person is detected so at night it will uh, show you the black and white infrared version uh, of the video and if it detects um, object movement or person movement it will turn to color and if i go to the album i can pretty much check the video that i just took that's pretty much the app control let me go to the setting and we have the image settings anti-flickering settings 60 or 50 hertz you can also flip the screen so basically you can share your uh, camera with someone else maybe your security uh, team or uh, spouse so you can they cannot have access to the camera as well time setting sound setting we have the microphone enabled and it will record with the voice we have the speaker enabled okay that's actually a nice feature it will encrypt the video if it's saved on the cloud and we have the ai intelligent analysis if you want to differentiate between the people pets vehicles and packages you actually need to buy this service and it's not free uh, it's two dollar per month not bad it does pretty much everything in here and you can link it with the alexa and you can link it with google home that was pretty much what the app does i just want to show you how does it work so i've tested everything with this security camera and i'm back with the full review the app works fine there's a little bit of bugs here and there, but I want to address them here. This screenshot works fine. The quality of the pictures are good. The hold to talk function works good. The speaker on this camera is actually good enough. Whoever is in front of the camera can hear your voice. Okay, so now I'm testing the audio and I'm really close to the camera. Let me just go back. So this is a little bit further away, checking if you can hear me clearly here. And let me just go back a little bit more. This is usually the distance for this camera. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here's the thing with the audio. If in the settings, if you go to the sound settings, I check the microphone and record the voice. And when I go back to the live feed, there's a little speaker symbol uh, down at the left corner. And if you press that, you can hear the audio from the camera feed, okay? But here's the tricky part. If you don't open the speaker, it's not gonna record the sound when you hit record. And if it's muted, you get no audio trying to record something i don't want to go and uh tap on this option to tell the camera that i want audio or not i want audio all the time if i select the record voices in the settings 
I think that's like a bug in their app, so they might update it in the future, so you don't have to do that. Not a good thing because sometimes you just want to record something as fast as possible and you just open the app and hit record and later you realize you didn't open the mic. But the audio quality and the microphone quality is good. When I talk close to the camera, it's good. But when you go further back, you can still hear what uh, the person says. If they're further away, they might uh, speak a little bit louder. This one has a good mic. So I captured a couple of videos during the day and night. And the video quality is actually pretty good. There is a lot of details in the video, especially in the QHD version. And you can see everything clearly and it's sharp. But when the camera moves, you see a little bit of artifacts. But when the angle is stationary and fixed and you see a lot of detail, this is one of the best video qualities that I've seen on a security camera. You can see all the details, all the colors. And this is the sample during the night. Still, you get a good quality picture and you see it is full color. So the camera doesn't switch to the infrared lights. But when it's super dark, the camera will switch to the infrared mode. The infrared mode, uh, the downside is it's going to be black and white. So you're not going to see the colors, but you still get to see the details. Like I mentioned, the quality of the camera is good. So you see details and it's crisp and clear, except the time that the camera actually pans and moves. When you come to the app, you go to the full color mode. This is where you select how the camera operate during the night. So. The intelligent vision is basically the auto mode. It tries to capture the color as much as possible when we have some light. When there is no light or it is super dark, it will switch to uh, the infrared night vision. You get the black and white visuals. The motion detection works pretty good in this camera. Every time somebody passes in front of the camera, it will start recording. It sends you a notification. You can disable the notification in the app, but it will still record a 10 second video uh, if you install the SD card on the camera. So make sure you install the SD card because this feature is free. If I go to the alert, it just go through all of the motion detection during the whole day. The light uh, is a good feature. It's a subtle light, but it's not really powerful light. It's decent, but it's not really powerful that you're gonna say oh it's gonna light up the whole scene i noticed every time the camera detects a motion turn on the light automatically by itself just to capture the image it's a little bit annoying because people uh, sometimes turn and look back at the camera i really don't want to like bug my neighbors with this light all the time turning on and off that's a little bit annoying and i couldn't find any option to turn off the light when the motion is detected and it's just doing it by itself and there's no option to disable it they might change it in the future with the app update you can come to the app and turn it on by clicking the light and turn it off you cannot control it when the motion is detected i thought this camera would track the motion by itself uh, and it doesn't do that so you just have to manually select an angle but you have the range to do that. And it's a little bit of lag when you actually move the camera and you see it happening on the feed. And sometimes you might miss the right angle because there's a lag. When I installed the camera, I tried to do the siren and it gives you a notification, an alarm that the siren is loud, may disturb your neighbors. Actually, I record the audio. You can check the audio right now. And it's not really loud that it will like annoy the neighbors. It's like uh, attracts attention, but not really annoying that maybe the, if the camera is too far, it, it wouldn't even wake you up. This camera doesn't have a really wide field of view. Most of the time, this camera is going to be stationary and it's not going to uh, track the movement and move with the motion. One of the downsides, maybe it's a little bit limited, but on the other hand, the quality is higher. We were at around 80% and it dropped down to 50% right now. And on the history tab, you can see the calendar of every event recorded. You can just select what day was it and you can go and check the history for that day and it will show you all of the history. You can go to the alert. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag between the motion detected and the camera start recording it might be a one or two seconds delay but that's a really cool feature i want to see the history in video not pictures so far i'm really happy about the video quality of this camera 
and also the angles that I can rotate uh, pan and tilt is really good and useful because you don't want to be like fixed on one angle maybe you want to uh, switch it around and the Wi-Fi signal works pretty good and I had no issue for me it's really close also the audio quality was good the microphone picks up the audio really good and also the night vision works really great uh, the intelligence like uh, the full color night vision one of the things that I didn't like was the narrow field of view of the camera and also I couldn't turn off the flashlight every time it detects a motion another thing would be the siren sound is not as loud and also the flashlight is not as powerful but overall it's really good camera for the price and the thing that you don't have the hassle to do the wiring and worry about the charging and stuff like that that's a plus in my book again thank you for watching this video make sure to like this video before you go to support me and this channel so i can make more review videos for you and i will see you in the next video